Hi, and welcome back to the channel. Today, well, today it's it's 82 degrees outside. It's a beautiful day. Um, the leaves are still starting to change colors, but all of that is neither here nor there because by Wednesday, we are going to have temps in the low 30s. So that means today I'm, I'm actually installing my hive heaters. Now, for those of you who are new to this channel, in the wintertime, I heat my beehives, and this is the first year that I'm going to be heating the bee barn. So because I have I have two different types of hives here on the front row, and those are the only ones that get heated. The girls back in the back, they're, they're just toast. Um, they're gonna have to deal with whatever comes their way, and I think that they're going to be in shape so that they can do that. But all the hives on the front row will be heated, and two of those are still Langstroth, so they are going to get my old heating system, and the new bee barns are going to get the new heating system, and you'll see what those look like when we, uh, when we install them. Anyways, before I do that, I need to take care of some business that I left back on the Space Force and the, uh, and the Coast Guard Hive. I never, ever gave them another bucket of sugar syrup. Now, because the fall flow is on at least for a few more days, I think once the weather hits 30 degrees at night, I think the fall flow's over. I think that's going to kill the goldenrod. Um, actually, my, my bee yard kind of smells like dirty socks right now, so I know they're bringing in the goldenrod nectar. But after Wednesday, that's not going to be the case, and I want to make sure that the Space Force and the Coast Guard Hive have everything that they need to get through winter. That's my, my, my two weakest hives. So anyways, let me get my smoker lit, let me get my veil on, and we will get started. Something else that I noticed while I'm standing here lighting my smoker is that I have some ants attacking the blue hive, so we're going to have to deal with that too. Um, the sun's hanging kind of low in the sky. It's later in the eve well, later in the afternoon, um, but it has to be done. So we are going to take a look at that as well. Okay, so I guess I'll get what's uh, what's easiest first. That is going to be giving the uh, the two hives over there each a bucket of sugar syrup. Then I guess we will start on the blue hive and get that addressed. And then do the rest of the hives. Should be a pretty quick video. Ooh, okay, here we go. Actually, this is not going to be too tough. I don't even really have to smoke them, but I will. Here you go. All right. That can sit there. We will uh, take that off. Curls a little bit of smoke. I just made my bees really, really happy. All right. Give you your lid back, and you are done. Give your brick. Here's your sugar syrup. Now, this has two to one sugar syrup. Oh. All right, here we go. Hi, ladies. And let me tell you, this hive is not looking as weak as it was looking a couple of weeks ago. There we go. Okay, good. All right. The easiest jobs that I had to do today are now done. Let's move on to the the blue hive and get those ants out of there before those bees abscond and this is not the time of year they need to be absconding. All right so before I even get into this let me show you oh you don't need to see ants there's ants all over we're going to see those um, let me show you the difference between the hive heater for this hive and the hive heater for the bee barns. Now, if you haven't if you haven't seen my hive heaters, I suggest you go back and watch the video on my hive heaters, um, and you can see how to build these yourself. Each one of the boxes has a control unit on it. They keep that control unit on them um, all all season long um, because that controls the exhaust fans that are on the inside of the hive, so it cools them in the summertime. But it also controls the heaters during the winter, and that's what this is. This is a heat box. Basically, it's, uh, it's uh, two reptile heating lamps. They don't put off any light whatsoever. Um, and they are controlled via a cord that plugs into the back of here and the control unit on top. When the temperature reaches a certain temperature, and I think that I've got these things set um, to stay at about 72 to 75 degrees. So when the temperature falls below that threshold, the controller turns these heat lamps on and it warms the box. Now, my beehives, they all stay, well, all the beehives on the front row 
they all stay about 72 to 75 degrees all winter long. Um, the girls in the back that, like I said earlier, they're, they're, they're toast. They're going to have to do it themselves, and they, they will. I mean, I don't think I'm going to lose any hives. Um, I hope not, but it does get cold here in Georgia, and, and my, bees, my bees live in condos on the lake, so that's, that's the way that it is. Anyways, let me, uh, let me get after these ants here. All right, so every year I get this 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 question in my in my comments, and I, I actually I just got this this question in, in last week's comments, just on a different video um, than the one I released last week. But the question is this: If you heat your hives, doesn't it cause the bees to to eat more food and go through their through their nectar and their honey storage quicker? And the answer is. No. Now, I've had people contact me and tell me that, well, I talked to my friend who's a master beekeeper and he says heating your hives is a bad thing and, and it causes your bees to eat all their honey and they're not going to have anything left and they're going to starve out. It doesn't happen that way. Now, I just want to make sure that everybody understands, and now I've done this for, for, this is my fifth season heating my beehives, and every year I come out of the, out of the winter with very, very strong hives and the bees are not starving. Matter of fact, they have an abundance of food left in the hive. Now, it seems counterintuitive. You think, okay, the bees are just, they're sitting around. They've got nothing to do. They don't have to heat the hive. They're going to sit around and eat. They're not humans. They don't sit around on the couch and stuff their face with potato chips when they have nothing to do watching TV. These bees just kind of mill around. It's almost like they're like they're washboarding inside the hive. They don't, they don't eat stores. They really don't do anything. They just kind of hang out inside the hive because the hive is warm and they don't have to, to heat the hive by vibrating their thorax. They don't need to eat as many stores in order to keep the hive warm. So there you go. I hope this answered one of the biggest questions that I get. Every time I put the hive heaters on the hive, I'm answering it in advance. You don't have to type it into the comments. Now you're welcome to disagree, but I've been doing this for five years and I can tell you this, the bees do not eat more food in a heated hive than they would if they were in a non-heated hive. Now when you see the, the hive heater set up for the bee barns, you'll understand why I'm going to like the bee barn hive setup so much better because I don't have to strip an entire hive down in order to set up the heaters. Here, on these two hives, I'm gonna have to strip the entire hive down, so it's really not a big deal that there's ants on here because I'm gonna deal with the ants, um, but I would have to strip the hive down anyways, doesn't matter. Let's, uh, let's uh, smoke these girls and get in. I'm also going to look at the sticky board here. We'll do that first. And I see a couple of Varroa, but I don't, I don't see a lot. Oh, yes, I do. Holy moly. I see a ton of Varroa as well as ants. Holy moly. Let me get up close to the camera here. Let me try to hold this the best I can. Look in this area right here. I'm going to try to get that as close as I can. Let me see if I can, this area right here. Hopefully that will coming to focus. There are serious Varroa drop here. Those Apivar have done what the OA didn't this year. Maybe my OA was expired. I don't know, but that is a lot of Varroa. Holy moly. That mite drop is all over this board. Holy moly. This was bad. Holy moly. I had no idea. Okay, well, I'm glad that I got the Apovar. All right, now let's uh, let's take this hive apart. Oh, there are ants all over the holy moly. Okay, I've got to move a camera. These ants are all inside the control box, and there's a bunch of ant eggs in there. It's like they're moving in. Well, they're about to move out. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this box off. All right, this box apart. There we go. Okay. Right there. And I'm going to refill my oil traps. Now, 
Now I had wooden diffuser boards before, um, but my buddy made these for me out of metal. What this does is this allows the, the heat in the bottom box to come up evenly into the hive. Here's your control box. Ant free. There we go. Again, there's the heat box. Let's put a diffuser on there. I wanted to give them the old teal bottom here. Watch yourselves. And your lid. All right, you are ready for the cold air ladies all right now for the easy stuff now we're going to the I mean I guess it doesn't matter where we start I guess we'll start on the on the red hive okay now here is another another hive heater related topic I want to discuss and because I'm going to get these comments and I get these comments every year when I put my hive heaters on and especially if you watch my hive heater build video you go look at the comments, you're going to see this comment that if you heat your hives, your bees are going to be weak. The bees don't want a heated hive. It's not a good thing to do is heat your hive. It's, 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 it's bad. Don't heat your hive. It's, it's wrong. Well, let me tell you, it's not wrong. It's not bad. And I'm a hobbyist. I, it's easy for me to plug in these hives and I've got power down here. It all works out. Now, if I was a commercial beekeeper and I had 150, 200 hives, it would not be worth it for me to supply power to the hives and try to heat the hives that said i'm not the only one who heats my hives um chances are if you're a beekeeper up north you heat your hives you just don't do it with with reptile heating lamps you heat your hive by putting insulation around the box and wrapping it in chloroplast or 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 stuffing it filled with straw you do everything you can to keep your beehive insulated which allows your bees to store their heat and keep their hive heated um so heated hives are they a bad thing yeah, i don't think so matter of fact if you watch some of the of the other youtube beekeepers that i do uh, uh let's say uh, dirt rooster um or mr ed they're down in louisiana and their winters aren't too bad i, I imagine they do get get cold i mean heck in, in texas they get snow but uh if you notice, they're always cutting bees out of people's houses. The bees always go to people's houses and they're usually on inside walls. And those bees chose that spot. They chose a place to live when they swarmed out of their hive and landed inside that wall. They chose that because it was warm and dry. It was something that the bees could maintain a good temperature without having to use a lot of resources for their colony. Anyways, just some ideas. Let's get back to the video. Okay, the sun is very bright, so I can't see you because it's directly above the camera. But uh, but this is all there is to the new uh, the new hive heater. I slide this in, slide it in the diffuser, and put this in the back with the plug on it, and then I'm good to go. Holy moly! Okay, the mite drop is just as bad here as it, uh, as it was in the other hive. I'm going to slide it in right there. I'm going to take my heater. I'm going to slide it in down on the bottom. I'm going to shut the door. Okay, there we go. That one's ready to go. Now I'm just going to go ahead and do the rest of them and then we will uh, we'll end this video. Okay, so the last thing that I have to do in order to make these hive heaters hot, to actually activate them and turn them on, is, uh, is connect the wire from here to here. Now I've got these wires up in the shop and I'll bring them out probably Tuesday night. The, uh, the 30 degree night is not going to start until Wednesday morning. Um, so there you go and there you have it. Until then, these girls are on their own. I think they're going to be fine. Um, and again, by the way, that these sapiary smells there, they're bringing in all kinds of goldenrod. It smells like dirty socks.
All right, I can't believe I'm doing a video on putting hive heaters on the hives and I'm sweating like a pig, but it is what it is. But we did manage to get all of our work done today. Uh, all of the hives and all the issues have been addressed. We took care of the blue hive, got rid of the ants, they're gone. The hive heaters are on the blue and white hives, the old style. And then the, uh, the bee barns, they have their new style heaters, so they're going to be in good shape. And the Coast Guard and the Space Force hive had both gotten a brand new bucket of two to one sugar syrup so they're ready for the season anyways with all of that said i hope you enjoyed this video if you did do me a favor give me a thumbs up if you have something to say by all means please comment and if you haven't subscribed to the channel do me a favor take a moment hit the subscribe button ring the bell to be notified of my new content i try to drop a video every friday we try to keep it light and have fun so with all that said be happy and I will see you next week. And we will check on these hive eaters sometime during the week on Instagram. If you don't follow me over there, jump over to Instagram. You'll find me and you'll get a, a sneak peek into the, uh, into the hive heaters in action on the bee barns. I'll see you next week. Take care.